Hey Tom. How is it going? So this is another TVP uh, against the Skelkies. I totally Skelkies. Do you Skelkies? Because this guy, he he could he could be teaching us a lesson for all. It's an awful lot of SCVs to pull. That that's okay. He let you kill his probe, so it all worked out in the end. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I see that you delayed this supply depot. That's good. It's good times. It's good times. You seem to have a lot of gas. And uh, having a lot of gas could be an indication that you got con ah, concussive shells first. Yep, 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 yep. Came to check for an expo, extra smart. You saw that he only had three units in his base, which is typical until the 6.30 minute when this warp gate tech finishes, but bam, now he's going to have a bunch. Uh, you got lots of stuff back home. No bunker because you got your SCV out, and you'll see if he pushes out. You send a second SCV. I don't know about that. Definitely don't know about that. Let's see. You should have 30 workers at this point. You have 26. You're a tiny bit short. You should have 2,000 bucks in army. You have... 2,000, hey, you've got a good army size, even though you've pulled all these workers and just had them standing there. Okay, you're going to attack. That's good. So, yeah, it's really important that right when you attack, you have zero dollars, and that's why you should not get so damn much gas, because uh, there's no way to spend all this gas in the early game. You you have to have a factory and a starport to spend that amount of gas, two, two geysers worth of gas. Um, so just don't get the second geyser if you plan to attack like this. Uh, yeah. But this 8-minute attack from you is $2,000 in strength, including upgrades. Uh, it's actually another 400 from SCVs, so 2,400, which is quite big, and that's that's right on benchmark. It's a good, it's a good <coughs> attack strength. I don't like attacking into somebody who has no low ground buildings because then you can't. I mean, if he just force fields at the bottom of his ramp, he can warp in some more sentries and force field, force field, force field, and you'll never get up that ramp, and you'll just be sitting there with SCVs unable to fight. Now, obviously, in your league, maybe that doesn't happen very often, but uh, be, aware, be aware that if he doesn't have any real estate on the low ground, you're not guaranteed to do damage when you attack. Um, but that's okay. I mean, in fact, all the way up to Diamond League, I used to just do uh, three racks pushes because... It's it's not easy to block the the ramp with a sentry when you're under pressure, especially when you have a limited number of force fields available and you miss one and then you have to waste another one and so on and so forth. So really you should you should do this kind of stuff all you want, man. You can just count on your, your Protoss opponents missing that force field. And it'll pay off. Uh but in Masters League totally does not pay off. So yeah.